If you want to install Stable Diffusion really fast, first thing you're going to need automatic 11111 or 1011. You're going to need to have that already installed. If you do not have automatic 111 already installed, you can just follow this tutorial to be able to install it. These two files, you want to download them. They'll be in the description. For one of the files, this one, it's a hugging face file. This file is the model file, the file that the software uses to generate the image. You're gonna need a hugging face account in order to be able to download the file. Other file you're gonna need is this one. This is a configuration file. It's necessary so the software knows how the model is configured. So you need to download a specific one for Stable Diffusion 2.0. If you click on the link, it should download the file automatically. If it doesn't, and it takes you to this page, what you wanna do, you wanna right click the page, so anywhere on the page, then you wanna click save as, save as you want to save this uh, right where you save the model that you downloaded earlier I mean, you don't have to save it there but you want to save it somewhere you can recover it from so let's just put it there and important the name of this file should be the exact same as the name of the model that you downloaded except where the model says ckpt you want to change for this file it should be YAML, so Y-A-M-L. So the name in the end should be this, so it's the exact same name with the only part being different being this. So when you save the file, make sure to change the name to that. After you have your two files downloaded and your files named appropriately, as you see here, you wanna go to your Stable Diffusion installation folder, which you should already have, and you wanna go to here, Model Stable Diffusion, and you'll see, put Stable Diffusion checkpoints here. So this will contain all of your Stable Diffusion models. You wanna come over and take your files from wherever you had them. Remember, they need to be named appropriately. And you wanna take them and drag them into this folder. So just to remember, just check in again, you have your model file name. This is the, the basic name. So I didn't change the name of the model file. And then the YAML file, which is the same as the checkpoint, except with .yaml at the end, as opposed to .ckpt. So now you're 99% done, but you're not finished as yet. You want to launch Stable Diffusion, which I'm assuming you already know how to do. In Stable Diffusion, what you want to do is you want to go to the top here where you see Stable Diffusion Checkpoint. You should have a model already loaded up. This would be a base model or whatever it is you typically installed. So you want to click on this and you'll see the exact same name of the model that we just placed. You want to click on that in this list. So you click on it and now you see loading. You want to wait. Still, There's still more stuff to show, by the way. Okay, eventually, after you see it's finished loading, come over here. You, you'll notice something if you try to generate an image. So pay attention. If I come and I generate dog photo and I generate, see this image, this is a, a photo of a dog but it doesn't exactly look that good. The base resolution or the resolution the model was trained at mostly was 768 by 768, meaning that if you generate at a lower resolution, it will not work correctly. So to fix this, you wanna to come to the resolution here and you wanna to go to 768 on the width and 768 on the height. So this will generate the image at a larger size. And if I come here now and I generate an image now, same thing, dog photo again, you'll see we get what we expect, an actual legible, not terrible photo of a dog. Hopefully you were able to install Stable Diffusion 2.0 uh, I mean, if you didn't do that, I guess this video was a complete waste of time. But uh, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you learned something, I guess. Thanks for watching the video. Check out my other videos. And yeah.